A couple weeks ago, we shared with you what we did in our bathroom. And now we have completed the rest of our trailer. Well, the living area anyways. <laughs> We're leaving the bedroom alone. Yes. <laughs> For now. So, would you like to see what we've done? Hope you like it. <laughs> You've had the opportunity to get a sneak peek of this wallpaper. There you go, now we can see. <laughs> yeah, this one's uh, like a birch theme, I guess. Uh, the old one that we uh, did last year was uh, a brick face, which actually that turned out really nice. The birch was a little more... Interesting. Interesting, yeah. Good word, good word for it. Brought the outdoors in. Yeah. So, so it lightened up the space quite a bit. As most of you know, the brown was the uh, dominant color in here. And so here's a clip of that. We started the phase two of getting rid of the beige walls. So for the hallway, we thought we would do, or I thought we would do a tree theme. Brent kind of wanted to do that in the bathroom too, but I went for the shiplap thing. Here's a little sneak preview of what we're doing in the hallway, because I forgot to do a before. <laughs> so this is what we've started. We've got that up there already. So we're getting rid of the blah beige. And then we're going to do that side, so it's going to go from that this lightening and brightening the space I'm not sure what I'm going to do in the slide behind the chairs just yet but I'm gonna do something brighten it up in there too stay tuned that's what it used to look like now you can see behind me some of it we'll show you what it looks like now come in from the door we've done our bedroom door Painted it out, the same color as the bathroom. That's really close. <laughs> and we've painted out all the cabinets. All the, all the doors are done. Uh, a little bit of trim. I decided in the kitchen space, or the main living area, to keep the brown accents. I wanted some brown still left over as well. Yeah. Also because after I painted the bathroom cabinets, I didn't want to do that again out here. It was a little bit too much maybe for this space. So all the doors, and we've done the trim around the slides. So we've done the birch wallpaper on that wall, and then into the slide, and I brought the ship lap into the slide as well. So I did that on the end walls and the curtains I had redone last year. We kept the same valances. I haven't figured out what to do with them. I kind of like them for now. Yes, Wrigley's eating again. And I put the uh, ship lap on the back wall as well around the window. I had initially not put any of that in there, but I decided that it was too, it was getting lost, so I decided to brighten it up. And then both doors around the fireplace and the drawers. So it's a lot brighter in here. It definitely lightens up the space. Mm -hmm. I hummed and hawed about doing the fridge, and then when I was done, I kind of went, I'm not doing the fridge. <laughs> it's getting all those little corners and stuff. It gets a little tricky. 
I was thought, thinking about just maybe doing the trim around the outside. And then I decided it was more work than I wanted to do. So I didn't. Not everything went as smooth as silk though. <laughs> Brent, we had some problems with the paper when we were putting our pictures back well, up again. Yeah, it, it stuck really well to the walls. It wasn't a really big issue until we found anything with weight that we were hanging. We used the command strips because they work great when they're on just the wall of the RV. But with the paper, it would actually bubble out and eventually they would fall. So what we had to do is actually just cut out this tiny little spot, put the command strip on there, and she stays nice and tight. Now we do take it down for traveling, of course. The rest of the hooks, they're all solid because we just cut out that little spot in the paper and it, it all holds really well. So I hope you like uh, what we did to our trailer. We certainly like it. It lightens up the space quite a bit. Makes it feel more homey. We like it. And that's all we wanted to share with you this week. So if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe. And ring that bell for notifications. Bye, Bye for now. I'm just following your lead. Okay. Yeah, go. There we go. Come on in. Ah, the bathroom door. Yeah, well, we use command strips for hanging everything our jackets, to all the pictures, to the horseshoe above the door. I found that it would stay well, it would hang well, no matter what the weight was, but when we actually put the command strips directly on the paper... <coughs> okay, from the top.